This is also my very first time um, filming any sort of YouTube video, so uh, so I'm just kind of going along, so be gentle. <laughs> everyone, it's Miss Kamori. I am here with my very first cosplay tutorial. Um, it took me quite a while to put this together, but I am hoping that everyone can learn something from this or that I can help someone along with their Morrigan or Lilith cosplay specifically. Now I did make this tutorial um, from my process with Lilith because I actually didn't film Morrigan. But, it is the very same pair of wings, just a different color, so you could basically just follow the same process step by step, um, down to the very last item other than the paint. I'm going to go over the supply list real quick. If you would prefer, I'll place a link on this frame to skip to the actual tutorial itself. Uh, you will need some 9 gauge wire. This comes in 50 foot rolls at the Home Depot. Now, it is $30 and it only comes in a 50 foot roll, however, you'll get about a dozen pairs of wings out of this. Um, so even if you don't use all of it on this project, if you plan on cosplaying in the future, it's a really handy tool to have. You'll need some compound action 9 gauge cutters. Those are about $15 at Home Depot. Regular wire cutters do not cut through 9 gauge, so um, do not try because you will break your pliers or wire cutters or you will hurt yourself. You will also need PEX pipe. This is just found in the plumbing section. It's a big roll of usually white or black pipe. It comes in a half inch size and it's in a 50 foot roll. It's about 10 to $15. It'll last you actually a few pairs of wings. You'll need a giant craft foam roll. You can find this at Michael's or online on Amazon, actually. It's about $9, $4.50 with a coupon, and it's about 36 by 60 inches, and it's a giant continuous piece, so your uh, parts of your wings will be seamless. You'll need hot glue, a hot glue gun, two bolts, two nuts. You'll need a thick headband that needs to be super thick, not plastic. Um, it has to be able not to snap when you're moving it around to hold the weight of the wings. You'll need some E6000 glue or super glue. You'll need pink insulation foam board, not the fluffy kind, but the hard pink board found at Home Depot. A two foot by two foot square is about $6, but you can also buy gigantic pieces of it that are about eight feet tall if you'd like. You'll need some warbler and a heat gun. Those two supplies are optional um, if you would prefer to use the Sculpey, which is also on this list, to make your wing claws. You'll need a can of Plasti Dip, which is about $6 at Walmart. You can find it in the spray paint section. You'll need spray paint additionally. You'll need acrylic paint, a corset, and thick fabric. And you'll also need fourth inch PVC pipe and that's about two to three dollars for an eight foot piece. You'll need a box cutter or a retractable razor. Begin with one continuous 135 inch piece of nine gauge wire, bending it to the shape of this diagram. It's important that this is one connected piece since that will affect how sturdy they are on your back. And cut them with the compound cutters and be careful. <laughs> Now next you are going to cut a 32 inch piece of 9 gauge wire for your rods. This is the piece that will attach to your uh, corset into the rods. Use your superhuman strength to twist the rods around the rings. You will probably only need to twist once, making sure the rods end downward. Grab your heat gun and your PEX pipe. Measure a pipe piece to the length of your outer wing parts, heat it up, shape it, and slide it onto the wire. Now measure the U-bend of the wing and cut and heat the pipe for that too. Now 
Now I'll cut pieces of pipe that match the center bones on your wings. And grab your foam roll and draw wing shapes around your wire form or just draw a wing shape to your liking, making sure it matches up with your wire form that you just made. And there's my cat. Cut it out, avoiding cats. Now I'll cut any excess wire. Now glue and tape the joints together on your wire and pipe form to close any gaps you have. Now glue the wire and pipe structure down to your foam, making sure everything matches up well and this is the shape that you want your wings to be. Now cut 104 2 and 3 4 inch by 1 and 1 4 inch foam rectangles for the outer bones of the wings. And then cut 62 inch by 1 and 1 4 inch rectangles for the inner bones. These are going to be the scales that go on the bones of the wings. Cut them out with your blade. And if you don't have Warbler, you can skip this next step and make the claws out of Sculpey, shown later in this tutorial. But if you have Warbler, begin cutting a claw shape out of insulation foam. And carve it with a blade and then sand it. Cut it in gradually more smaller sizes for the bottoms of the wing bones. And be careful not to slice your finger while you are carving this. I love how you can reuse even the smallest scrap of warbla. And I'm heating up <coughs> a bunch of scraps I have to roll them into a flat sheet. Now cut around your claws, heat it up, and shape it around the claws by pressing it around the insulation foam claw while it's still hot. Now cut off the excess. Use something to roll over the seams while they're still warm. I just use my handy chapstick. Now glue the claws onto your wing structure. Start gluing the scales onto the bones, starting with the two and three fourth inch strips on the outer bones. I did about a fourth inch overlap between each strip. And then just hot glue them down. So 
sometimes you'll need to cut pieces to adjust them to fit. Start gluing the two inch strips on the inner bones using the same technique as you used for the outer bones. Just a fourth inch overlap and just cutting excess off if it happens to not fit. Now cut a large scrap of foam and fit it around the top of the wings to cover any unattractive parts. Now glue in the seams to close them off. Now cut out 128 one inch by one inch squares out of your foam. And glue them on the back to cover the scale overlap. This is just a creative touch I have on my wings. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. Now spray your wings entirely with Plastidip. The colors of Plastidip you use depend on whether or not you'll use a dark or light color to paint it later. Lilith has dark membranes and dark red bones, hence the white paint on the bones and then the black Plastidip on the membranes. I'm sorry, white Plastidip on the bones. After that dries, you can spray paint the bone section and the back of your wings with the color they are supposed to be. You may need a few coats. I personally use two coats. While that was drying, I started the head wings. To make those, you'll need your nuts, bolts, and two pieces of tiny pipe. Now use the super glue or E6000 glue to glue the nut to the end of a pipe piece like so. Some of this is off camera because I didn't angle my camera correctly, but you can see a little bit of it. Now make marks on the headband where you want the wings to stick out. Glue a bolt to each side of the headband and hold them in place with masking tape while the super glue or E6000 dries. The size of the head wing is completely up to you, but take your 9 gauge wire and bend it into a head wing shape. These two don't have to be connected since they will be on opposite sides of a headband. Now take the nut piece and glue it to the end of the wire, making sure the nut faces the headband. Now take some more hot glue just to be safe. I'm paranoid, so I also heated up some more warbla and wrapped it around the parts to further sturdy them. If you don't own any warbla, Use more glue and duct tape because duct tape is your friend. Now here I'm testing the combination, gluing everything.
Here I'm testing the bolt and nut by screwing them onto the headband. And this is also how you'll put the wings onto your head. Um, the headband's gonna go under your wig. You'll put the wig over it and then you will put the wings on afterward. Cut out a set of wing shapes from the foam a little larger than needed. Now wrap the excess foam from what you just cut out. Now wrap the excess foam around the wire and glue it down with hot glue. This will act in the same way that the pipes do on the larger pair. It'll just give it a little bit more dimension when it comes to the scales. Now cut one inch by one and fourth inch strips of foam for the small wing scales. Now roll out some Sculpey and make some little claws. And this is Sculpey, so you are going to bake it at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. And of course, if you want to make the large wing claws out of this same material, you can always fill the center of it uh, with tin foil so that you don't waste a ton of clay. Um, you can sort of use the tin foil in the center as a filling. And my phone just went off, sorry about that. And I don't believe I filmed this, but you can use some smaller pieces of nine gauge wire for the inner bones of these wings, and you'll just glue it down to the foam in the same way you glued down the pipe down to the foam earlier. Now glue the small claws down to your little wings. Now glue the small foam rep, uh, rectangles down on these wings in the same way that you glued these scales on the larger wings. Now cover those inner bones with hot glue if they're not large enough to create a large enough hump for the scales. Now take another scrap piece of foam and cover the wing top. I'll lay some acrylic gesso down and then paint the bones by blending a small amount of black paint into the white paint. Now you're going to paint a solid black undercoat on the wing membranes.
Take a bright mid-tone of the color you'd like to use and then blend it with the black on the edges and a little bit more black paint if you need it. Now take a pale tone of whatever color you're using and blend the mid-tone and the black with it. Take four pieces of the 1 4 inch PVC pipe, measure the back of the corset height, and cut the pipe to the same height. About business or pleasure? Maybe a little of both. Now take thick fabric and measure the pieces to the length of the corset, and then make them about an inch wide. Pin and sew the pieces to the back of the corset, avoiding sewing over the corset boning, which can result in things flying at your eyeballs or just busting up your machine, which nobody wants. I'll put those pipes you just cut into the corset tracks. These wings can go down into the corset even under a bodysuit. The wings just kind of stick up and over the back of your bodysuit. And these pipes are going to make it 10 times easier to slide the rods into the corset while you're wearing it. So that about wraps it up. I really hope that you found this tutorial helpful. And if you decide to make a pair of wings, I would really love to see them. So just definitely uh, comment below or if you'd like to send a message to any of my other social media accounts with photos or tag me and show me, you're more than welcome to. I'll list those right here. And I hope in the future I can do more tutorials, but until then, see you later. Bye!